Hi everyone, this is Manas, your friend and tutor and I'm back with another video on machine drawing and today we'll be converting a pictorial view into an orthographic view. So here it is. Alright, so this is the problem in front of us and this X mark you see is basically meant for the front view. Alright, and then from here we'll be looking at the top view and from here somewhere here uh, to, to make it precisely it's it's going to be something like this parallel to this line okay this is going to be for the um, right hand side view so we'll be making three different drawings anyway first of all let me make the reference line above which here we'll have the vertical plane below we'll have the horizontal plane and here we'll have the profile plane now in the vertical plane we'll be making the front view the top view over here and the side view and to be very precise it's the right hand side view which we are really interested in fine let's let's go ahead and let's uh, work out the maximum dimensions that this object is having okay so when you watch this from the front the maximum stretch the maximum stretch that you can see is 125 so the length is going to be 125 and if you watch carefully the height of the object you can take it as from this point over here to this over here this is going to be 56 so you can take it as 56 well some of you may argue that so the boss is having a height of say three millimeters and so this should be added well that can be done this adjustment can be done later on also right now we'll be assuming this height as 56 millimeters that's it so this is the box inside which we will be making our front view now when you look at this from the top the stuff the length that you are going to see is from here until you reach here and that is how much that's 125 what about this distance in front distance well that's 128 let me tell you why from the back portion once you reach this center over here it's 110 and when you add this much from here till we reach here this stuff is uh, well guys this is nothing but 18 millimeters so 110 plus 18 will give you 128 that's why i took this as 128 and then making the side view or rather the side views box is pretty easier that's it this angle you know very well has got to be 45 degrees okay this is basically um, the fundamental of orthographic prediction and if you are still confused what with what exactly orthographic prediction is all about you can go ahead and watch my video on that i'll leave a link to that in the description down below anyway let's kick off first thing from the front you're going to watch this 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 one this one and even this curved portion will appear as a straight line from the front and the stuff that you will see will look something like this fine let's let's make these two centers okay the location is pretty much same 28 upstairs and then towards the right by a distance of 18 28 18 let me show you that once again 28 18 same stuff 28 18 okay so there are essentially two circles rather concentric circles inner and outer inner one is having let me see diameter of 10 that means the radius is going to be 5 the outer one is having diameter 25 therefore radius 12.5 well with this fellow as the center there is a boss also okay there is a slightly projected portion and that's three millimeters we will take care of that later on don't worry and similarly in the same manner you can draw this done now the next thing to do is i'll switch over to the top view and in the top view um, we'll see this from here this this portion this portion this circular portion will be there and to be very specific what i'll try to do is make this rather and then show you i've made this center so what you guys can do is this distance is nothing but 125 so half of that make a point and draw a line somewhere along this line you need to come forward by a distance of 18 millimeters so this distance is nothing but 18 millimeters that's it fine so now you've got to make three circles let me tell you why this inner one having a diameter of 12 radius is 6 here we go that's 6 then this outer circle having a boss also that boss is well this is not this one the boss is 3 mm thick Anyway, right now we are interested in making the circle for which we need diameter. Diameter is 28. Therefore, the radius is going to be 14. Done. And what about this portion? This is also circular. 
okay uh, the entire portion is not circular but some part of it is circular the remaining portion is something which will clip clip out later on but this circular portion if i can say so is having a diameter of uh, 36 or a radius of 18 so again do the same stuff with this fellow as the center draw a circle having a radius of 18 done the next thing to do this edge and there is going to be an edge here also okay although in this particular view you will not able to see that but in the top view that edge will be clearly visible okay that edge will be clearly visible in the top view so i'm going to make that that's it and then i'm going to travel this distance that is 16 millimeters so from both these spots from here and from here 16 from this point this point over here you need to travel 32 towards the left and from this point you need to travel 32 towards the right there you go now the stuff becomes very easy when you watch this entire machine element from the top you'll see this line isn't it isn't it this line will appear and will vanish at the point of tangency with the outermost circle this line will vanish at the point of tangency with the outermost circle and this portion has to be clipped off so that's over now the top view some portion of the top view still left and even some portion of the front view still left let's let's do that and let me project lines from this point okay now let me tell you what exactly i'm trying to do now guys in the front view this portion you see this is how much below well that's 16 millimeters so from here you need to somewhere along this line keep your scale over here travel 16 downwards okay and and guys this portion you see this portion you see will appear as a straight line from the front just think about this this curved portion will appear as a straight line between this point and this point that is between this over here and this over here how much below in the front 16 millimeters below that's it so this distance is nothing but 16 millimeters and between these two points so we've done that successfully okay how can we proceed now watch carefully i've made this boss over here from the front this boss this distance is how much well that's three millimeters so three and three okay and this from the center point if i can make a center point over here i think it's better if we use a different color if i can make just a center point yeah that's pretty good this radius if you watch carefully is how much 14 diameter is 28 so obviously the radius is going to be 14 so you need to travel right 14 left 14 and then you can make this pause you have to repeat the same stuff here also this upper portion i'm talking about okay so that's done okay can we proceed yes we can and we can do this this rib over here will be appearing something like this done this is 12 millimeters wide so from the center line move towards the right and left by a distance of six millimeters so this is six and towards the left of the center line it's six pretty easy now now let's make hidden lines let me show that once again these two hidden lines isn't it what are they exactly so there is an edge over here if i can mark it there is an edge over here and there is an edge over here which you can see from the front so let me make that this is 10 mm below okay let me show that once again 10 mm below that is a hidden edge and 10 mm above from this point 10 mm above from this point okay like this that's done very easy now this one okay this is in the top view again the same edge in the top view will be appearing as if it is at a distance of three millimeters from the back portion three millimeters from the back portion so this distance is nothing but three millimeters isn't it so that's it that's a hidden edge and what else okay this edge right then own this much portion and then this portion also okay there you go so these are all the hidden edges which we'll be able to see from the top view is there any any portion which is still left in the top view this one how much is this distance well from here you need to travel by a distance of 63 millimeters and this edge is also not going to be visible so this distance from point over here until we reach here that is 63 millimeters it's pretty easy okay and you know what the width is it's 12 so you can take the reference from here 
until you reach here and do do this with the help of a scale it's going to be very easy okay proceeding further we've got this let us make the boss this outer circle and this outer circle will have a boss and this boss this projected portion can be seen from the top how much projected well by a distance of three millimeters so let me make a boss over here and let me make a boss over here and that's done now what okay from the front this is the extreme left of the hole this is the extreme right of the hole from the center you need to travel how much this distance is how much this is six and this is six diameter is 12 therefore the radius is six so you already have a center line okay so you already have a center line towards the right six towards the left six very simple and then you need to make this complete throughout from here until we reach here that is the complete depth of the hole you can say and then secondly let me further project the lines okay so there are going to be holes in the top view also right left and right extreme left and extreme right let me show that once again left to right left to right okay so the depth of those holes are going to end here somewhere here okay so the depth will be three that means for the boss and the depth will be this much portion also for 16 so 3 plus 16 is 19 so that is the entire depth so let's let's start that and there you go starting from the boss and ending here somewhere here somewhere along this edge that means this edge same stuff here also this is the center line so that's done top view is pretty much over now let's go ahead with the side view now guys when you watch this from the right hand side you'll see this point let me make it with this blue color you go straight upwards 10 take a left that is three millimeters then again travel upwards how much well this has to be worked out okay let me show that 10 take a left three millimeters and then what you can do is you can go further rather you can say if this is 56 if this is 10 and this is 10 so reduce 40 uh, sorry 20 56 minus 20 will give you 36 okay so this distance is nothing but 36 so let me show that once again this is going to be 10 this is 3 this is 36 towards the right again by 3 millimeters and upwards by 10 millimeters and then take a lift this distance is nothing but 16 millimeters then travel downwards and then close it okay that's pretty easy now what this portion please see where the mouse is hovering this portion will will appear as a straight line from this okay isn't it this portion will appear as a straight line until you reach here reach here precisely from this right hand side so okay before that i have to make this pause okay okay done so this is the boss projected portion okay made three millimeters fine A reference of these this outer circle has been taken so let's do this let's move this way until we reach here and then downwards downwards and then again this way this way and until you reach somewhere here okay that's it so this is exactly what you can see in the side view rather the right hand side view and even here also you can see this this let me mark this point this point corresponds to this point at a distance of 63 millimeters from here so what you need to do is you need to keep the zero of your scale over here and towards the left you need to mark a point 63 millimeters away and then join it with this fellow this fellow done so this precisely completes our side view no 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 still something is left okay here it is this center line at a distance of how much 18 millimeters from this edge over here this edge this distance is nothing but 18 millimeters and again you will see a, a hole how much and there is going to be a pause also let me make that pause that pause this distance let me tell it's 14 14 right 14 left and just make this pause 3 mm thick and then you need to make this hole this hole and 5 12 that means the radius is 6 okay so 6 right 6 left 6 right and 6 left try to make this this is completely throughout and also passing through the boss done same stuff here also make this hole okay done so this pretty much completes 
uh, the orthographic projection yeah that's the front view top view and the right hand side view and when you provide the dimensionings it's going to look something like this here we go let me show you that's it guys so that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very very happy to answer them i'll see you in the next video until then take care have a nice day and thanks for watching